Good evening to wherever you may be. Midnight Baseball, Spencer Dodgers, coming at you live and hot. We got some fun things going on tonight. Buffering the Emerald Diamond, guys. I've been up here in Seattle for 10 years. Hasn't been a very pretty baseball scene. I'm going to get into that real quick this, tonight. Been a few trades they've done over the last 24 hours. What Jerry Depoto is doing up here is doing a lot of fun and exciting things for the Mariners fans, so we get excited about that. Uh, we're going to dabble into that real soon, okay? Last night's trivia. Who is the only player, to my knowledge, to win the Championship Series MVP trophy, both in the National League and the American League Championship se Series? One, two, three. That would be my favorite pitcher of all time, Oral Hershiser. We all know about the great 88 run by the Bulldog with the Los Angeles Dodgers. But we do forget that in 1995, he emerged as the ace of the Cleveland Indians, falling in the World Series to the uh, Marlins. But anyway, Oral was quite fantastic in the 95 or 90, what the 96. Either way, it doesn't matter. Oral's the man. That's a trivia question. Let's get on moving to the next one. Trivia, let's get that out of the way for next time, too. My son asked, my son asked in his session, who's played the most games ever? We're going to solve that tomorrow, okay? That's trivia tomorrow. Who's played the most games ever in the Major League Baseball history? I have an idea. Uh, it was fun. I've been out of the weather, like I said. So, mind a little mushy. I'm hanging out here with you guys still at Midnight Baseball, following through, trying to get my stripes and my stars on, get my, my play on. It's been a... Real downtime in the season, you know, if you're with me, it gets probably cold here now. We got snow, we got rain, missing baseball, trying to talk more about it. Here we go. The Seattle Z to P. Jack Z was the former general manager of the Seattle Mariners. Seattle Mariners were the majority owner of the Nintendo family. Nintendo family was selling some of their partner about two years ago. Since then, Jack Z's been gone, okay? Let me explain to you how when Jack Z's been gone, what goes on with general managers. We're going to do this real quick. This is briefly an analogy for general manager groups in Major League Baseball, which is huge to know about who your general manager is, where he comes from, and what type of person he is, okay? Here's a circle of guys. Let's put uh, Epstein, Theo's group here, okay? Okay, let's put another group of cluster of guys. Let's put Friedman's group. Okay, and then let's put another guy, let's put Billy Bean's old group, okay? This is going way back. These are some of the main brain trusts, and all within that are other little general managers that have branched off, okay? Towers, Hoyer, Charrington, all these other guys that have jobs now. They're all general managers, presidents, because this clustering started with Bean a while ago. But on the outside, this is, let's call this the sabermetrics or the analytic general managers, was another pot of general managers that were old school. Walt Jockety, John Hart of the world, uh, other guys where Jack Z was in this. And before Mariners knew it, everybody in Major League Baseball had shifted all of their thinking tank into this pot of group, and all their friends were making trades and doing deals. And when you're in with your friends, you get a better deal, right? Life's all about who you know. We know this, okay? It doesn't mean that they don't like you. Or Jack Z was blackballed. Or there's been rumors. But Jack Z wasn't getting the deals. Okay? So forever in Seattle, he wasn't getting it. And a Jerry DePoto, who I'm not sure where Jerry came from, but Jerry was in the circle, right? And he was in Anaheim having kicked back with Sosha, not being able to get the deals done. He was still in the circle knowing he could get stuff to happen. Mariners New Ownership recognized that. They brought DePoto in. He's been making more deals than anybody else. Okay? That deal involved Gerard Dyson for Nathan Carnes. Nathan Carnes, a pitcher. Who's he just like? He's just like uh, Wade Davis. Royals revolving relief. Got it? They're trying to do the blueprint. We know this. They're small market. Controllable players. Picked up Jorge Soler, right, for Wade Davis, who they got, I believe, in the uh, Mil Will, Will Myers trade at some point. They got another player involved in that. Uh, call me, tweet me. I'm blinking on that for a second. I should have done that history, but... They got a lot. How many years they got away Davis in that bullpen? Fantastic value, right? Dyson, they got years out of him. He's a free agent. Davis is a free agent. Move it, move it. We know what they're doing. They're maximizing their contracts. Royals have the plan. Pirates, take a note. Uh, Toronto Rays, take a note. Uh, other teams, take a note. What's going on here? Royals are doing work, right? Uh, who is it? McLean, uh, Dr Drayton Moore. Shout out to you, okay? If he goes, they go. That's the other trade the Mariners pulled off. Yovani Gallardo for Seth Smith. Yovani Gallardo is one of the best fifth starters 
in baseball. How old is Yolani Gallardo? Quick trivia. One, two, three. He's 30 years old, okay? I'm 36. Most major league baseball players develop probably between the ages of 28 to 32. Yolani Gallardo has had problems in his past, right? He got a DUI up when he signed a big deal with Milwaukee. Okay, he's from Texas. He's got a huge ranch down there. He's settled in. This guy's ready to go, I'm telling you. I'm going to say it first. This is my shout-out tonight. It's going to my brother-in-law. If I haven't given one, I'll give him another. Justin Wall, this one's for you. Yovani Gallardo, you don't like him. You've talked him forever. He's coming to your team, hometown of Seattle. Watch what he does this year. If yo's, they will super go. I'm about to get out of here. I got one more shout-out from my family. I had one of my family members pass away today, Aunt Fern. You blessed this world for a long time. You're an amazing woman. Thank you so much. The Niles family always love you. Baseball gods, midnight players, you guys are my favorite. Trivia reminder, who's played the most games in baseball history? I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. That's my summer all, right? Mariners, look for him to be doing new and fun things. Royals, nice move. Your buddy Gallardo. If you're with him, you know him, pump him up. If you're coming to Seattle, around the community, my Seattle people, give yo some love. Talk to you guys soon. Uh, Let's just bounce off. Gosh, I get so pumped up. Probably going to go get tired more, but woo! Midnight Baseball, I don't know how I do it for you. Love you guys.